Hey, it's Brother Monroe here. Welcome to episode 16 of my Victoria Let's Play series. Um, everything's pretty quiet at the moment, apart from, uh, well, <laughs> I'm saying that. Uh, yes, self-supporting colonies will greatly benefit Britain. Um, apart from this fairly large war going on between Austria and um, France. There isn't that much going on. Uh, economy is back in plus after our little war with the United States. Um, currently building up a war chest slowly. Ah, we purchased the company lands which cost me a fair bit of money. But... We now control most of New Zealand, which is good for us. Very good for us. Bit check I didn't accidentally take out a loan there. No, good. Okay, so typing has popped into existence. So East India Company um, obviously may do with ruining China's prestige. Although their own, their own is ruined as well for some reason. In fact, everyone's prestige is ruined and I don't quite get how that's happened. Um, that's auto-saving. Always auto saves at the worst possible moment. These will be the American guards. And these shall be the Royal Engineers. Ooh, good. Royal Engineers. <laughs> so these two armies are far better than the USA, as you can see, they've had to drop their. Um, I'll show you if I quickly go into it. Something events. Yeah, something, something, something. Not interested. Come on. There we go. Yeah, if you reduce your army maintenance, if it's all the way over here, you get 10,000 men per, per unit. If you go way down the other end, you only get 1,000. And clearly the Americans have had to severely curtail their spending because I took a very profitable couple of provinces off them. Um, and they had to spend a lot of money, mobilize, and all this sort of thing to lose the war against us. America's Cup, another prestigious sporting event. I'll put it back to the wall that's happening over here. I think the Austrians are going to push the French out of their little enclave here. Because it doesn't look like the French have got much in the way of reserves. No. And they're now having rebel problems. Uh, so am I, by the way. All the red stuff, potentially rebellious. 
Um, she's brilliant. She's pretty much everywhere, especially here. Um, so not great, but uh, not terrible either. Just a quick review of my military units. I don't have like having lots and lots and lots of um, different navies and armies floating about. Uh, foreign smugglers caught. Hang them and seize the cargo. Otherwise, things are going pretty well, I think. Sorry, not much happening this episode. Um, still, episodes 11, etc. 11 through 14 were pretty packed. And I had to split them up. At least it means I don't have to split this one up. French being pushed out, even though they do have a lot of troops there. England owes us a new pig. I don't think we do, but uh, we'll see if that triggers an event for us. Doesn't look like it. Not a problem. It's nearly the end of the year. Ah, there we are. Well, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.